Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today how to top up the pressure on your combi boiler. Now if your heating is not working properly, it could be because the pressure has dropped. The pressure can drop for a number of reasons. If you haven't used your heating for a while, maybe over the summer, then the pressure can slowly drop or, which is a worst case scenario, you have a small leak somewhere, which could be on pipe work or maybe on a radiator valve. Do remember that this is a gas appliance, but this is a very simple procedure. But if you're not comfortable doing it, then make sure you get a professional in. Now, ideally, a combi boiler pressure should be at 1.5 bar. And as you can see with this particular model, it is very low indeed. So we're just going to top up the system. Luckily on this one, we've got an analog pressure gauge. I really don't like the digital ones because they're so much harder to read. To top up the pressure, we need to get underneath the combi boiler. This one's got a slight bit of boxing in, so I'm just going to remove that first. And what you should have underneath your combi boiler is you've got this filling loop. This is where you top up more water into the system to increase the pressure. And on each side of this filling loop, you should have two taps. And we'll be using these taps to top up the water pressure. These plastic lever taps do get brittle over time and you may find that they actually snap off. Now what you can do is you can remove these taps and replace them just by undoing this screw here. But in the meantime, if you just take off the plastic lever, you should be able to get a pair of pliers on the nut underneath and just turn it like that. But these taps are in good condition, so let's go ahead. The first thing I'll do is open the tap on the left hand side. I'm opening this fully by turning it 90 degrees. This allows mains cold water into this filling loop but this isn't going into the combi boiler just yet because then we need to open the one on the right hand side. Now if you gently turn the tap on the right hand side but don't open it up fully just open it up very gently and if you're really quiet you should be able to hear the water start to fill up into the system. As you're doing that and you can hear the water topping up the system the pressure gauge should start moving upwards. If your pressure gauge is working correctly it should start moving up and then as soon as it reaches 1.5 you can close both those taps down. The pressure gauge on this particular combi boiler is not very accurate and it takes a while to actually move. So I'm just going to shut this right hand tap down now and then I'm going to let any excess air out of the system and we do this by finding the radiator at the highest point in the house. And I've got this radiator bleed valve key here so I'm just going to go upstairs in this house and locate the highest radiator because air will always find its way to the top. Make sure you've got a tissue ready or a rag. And what we'll be doing now is gently unscrewing this nut here, which releases any air outside of that hole on the outside there. Now don't unscrew this all the way. You don't want that nut to come out. Otherwise you're going to be getting water spraying all over the place. So again, just turn it very gently anti-clockwise and you'll hear some air start hissing out. There we go. As soon as the water starts spurting out, you can close it down. Then just mop up that excess water with a tissue. Now let's go back down to the combi boiler and I'm just going to put a little bit more pressure in it by turning the right hand tap slightly open again. As you're doing this, you should see the pressure gauge start rising. And you want to get it to 1.5 bar. When it gets to 1.5 bar, make sure you close down both taps. And that's really important because you don't want to over pressurize the system. As I mentioned earlier, this pressure gauge is slightly temperamental. I'm just going to give it a tap here and I'm just going to do a bit of a time lapse because this one is taking quite a while to top up the pressure and that is why you don't go mad when you're filling it up with water. And this is slowly repressurizing until we get to 1.5 bar which is absolutely perfect and then your heating system should all be working properly. If you do accidentally over pressurize the system over 3 bar there should be a safety release valve built into the combi boiler. If not, you can release some pressure from the system and you do that by opening the bleed valve on that top radiator and just letting some water squirt out into a cup or a rag. And that should bring the pressure down in the system. And I tell you what, that definitely, definitely deserves a lovely cup of tea. If you found that video useful, please subscribe by pressing this button down here so you don't miss more videos on how to save you time and money. There's also some other videos around the edges of the screen here. If any of those are useful to you, then you can select those now. Thank you for visiting my channel, everyone. I really, really appreciate it.